Hello everyone. Most of the students have tough time remembering drug classification and drug names. In this video, I will give a quick review on anti-neoplastic agents. So whenever you have time or whenever you are traveling, just listen to this video. The drugs you will easily remember by listening. Now, anti-neoplastic agents can be classified into three broad classes. Non-specific agents, specific agents and hormonal agents. Non-specific agents, they are known as non-specific because they act on rapidly dividing cells. It is not just cancer cells which are rapidly dividing. Hair follicles, mucosal cells, bone marrow cells, all of them also rapidly divide. So these drugs non-specifically they act on cancer cells as well as healthy rapidly dividing cells. So they have multitude of adverse effects. Second class specific drugs, they specifically act on cancer cells. They have least adverse effects. Some of the drugs are monoclonal antibodies. They end with MAB, trastuzumab, MAB. Third class hormonal drugs, some types of cancers are because of hormone response like breast cancer, endometrial cancer are because of estrogen, prostate cancer is because of testosterone. So to treat these kind of cancers, anti-estrogens and anti-androgens are used respectively. So they belong to hormonal class. In this video, I will explain about non-specific cytotoxic drugs. Understand the word cytotoxic. These drugs cause DNA damage and cause cell death. Hence, they are called as cytotoxic agents. Again, in non-specific cytotoxic agents, there are four major classes are there. Alkylating agents, antimetabolites, antibiotics, plant products. Let us see one by one. Alkylating agents, their mechanism of action is they alkylate DNA and cause DNA fragmentation and cell death. Understand these drugs go bind with DNA and cause alkylation. So the drug, it is binding with DNA. Hence, DNA is acting as a receptor for these drugs. So these drugs, the receptor is DNA. Now, in these alkylating agents, you have a big group called as nitrogen mustards. Mustard gas contains sulfur, which is a toxic vesicant gas, which is used during world wars. To reduce its vesicant property and toxicity, sulfur is replaced with nitrogen. Hence, you have the class nitrogen mustards. The important drugs in nitrogen mustards are maclorithamide, malphalan, cyclophosphamide, ephosphamide, chlorambucil. Five major important drugs. The other drugs which are also act in a similar manner causing uh, alkylation of DNA are procarbazine, decarbazine, carmustine, lomustine, temozolomide, thiotipa and busulfan. All of them are alkylating agents. Now, there is an another class known as platinum compounds. Cisplatin, carboplatin, oxaliplatin. They also generally considered as alkylating agent, but technically they will not cause alkylation of DNA. The platinum goes, binds with DNA and causes uh, fra DNA fragmentation. But generally it is considered as alkylating agents. So all these are alkylating agents. Now coming to the next class. Anti-metabolites. The mechanism of action is they interfere with DNA metabolism and cause DNA fragmentation and cell death. Three major classes are there in anti-metabolites. Antifolate. They interfere with folic acid metabolism. Folic acid is responsible for the formation of uh, uh, purines and pyrimidines. Hence, you inhibit folate, DNA formation will not be there. Examples are methotrexate and pemetrexate. Second class, anti-purines. The purine ring inhibitors. Examples are thioguanin, mercaptopurine and azathioprine. All the three anti-purines. Next, anti-pyrimidines. 5-fluorouracil, cytarbine, gemcitabine. These are anti-pyrimidines. So, all the three belong to anti-metabolites. Next class is antibiotics. See, anti-neoplastic antibiotics are again very powerful agents. They get inserted in DNA groove. DNA double helix has got major groove and minor groove. In that groove, these drugs will get inserted and cause DNA fragmentation. Very effective and powerful drugs. Examples are Danorubicin, Doxorubicin, Idarubicin, Epirubicin. All rubicins are antibiotics. Along with that, Mitomycin, Bleomycin, Actinomycin. These three mycins, all of them are antibiotics. Now the last class, plant products. In the plant products, again, we have two classes are there. Drugs which are affecting topoisomerase enzyme. If the topoisomerase is inhibited, DNA fragmentation occurs. Drugs in this category are topotecan, irinotecan, etoposide, tenoposide. The next class of the drugs which will act on mitotic spindle. The, uh, the polymerization of mitotic spindle or tubulin polymer, polymerization is inhibited or tubulin is affected. Now, in this class, drugs are vincristine, vinblastine, vinorelbine, paclitaxel, docetaxel. 
So all these are antineoplastic non-specific drugs. I hope this video is useful. Thank you.